Mars is one of the planets in our solar system that we are all familiar with. It's the fourth planet from the Sun, which is pretty cold, much colder than our planet Earth. It got its name from the Roman god of war, which befits its bloody color. And it's also one of the most explored planets in the solar system. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what is really happening on Mars. Mars is also known as the Red Planet because of its red color as a result of the iron-rich material that is present in the loose dust and rock that covers its surface. This iron mineral oxide or rust is the reason this soil on Mars looks red. The soil of the Earth is also similar to that of Mars. Mars has a diameter of 6,791 kilometers, about 4,219.73 miles. After Mercury, it's the smallest planet in the solar system, which is half the size of Earth. Have you heard of any mountain taller than Mount Everest? Well, Mars houses the longest and deepest valley as well as the highest mountain in our solar system. The mountain is a volcano known as Olympus Mons, which is three times taller than Mount Everest, about 21.9 kilometers, about twice the cruising altitude of a commercial jet high. Wow! The valley is Valles Marineris, which is named after who discovered it in 1971, Marinir 9 Pro. It's six miles deep, and it runs eastward for about 2,500 miles. From around Mars, it's about one-fifth the distance. Scientists believe that Valles Marineris came to be mostly rifting from the crust being stretched. The planet is said to have two moons. One is Deimos, while the other is Phobos. Before now, scientists believe that only soil dust, ice and rocks can be found on Mars and that liquid water cannot be found on its surface. But the narrative changed in 2018 when evidence of a lake was found under the planet's south polar ice cap. Unlike the 24 hours per day we have on Earth, a day on Mars is 37 minutes longer than a day on our planet. So a year on Mars will be twice as long. That will be 687 Earth days. How did we arrive at this figure? It takes Mars a lot longer time than the Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. The first observation of Mars using a telescope was done by Galileo Galilei in the year 1610. Afterwards, the planet's polar ice caps were discovered by astronomers. Later in the 19th and 20th centuries, a famous researcher like Percival Lowell saw a possibility of civilization on Mars in the form of a network of long, straight canals. But it happened that they were just geological features that were mistaken for something else. Over the years, scientists have had the privilege of studying the pieces of Mars from the Earth without traveling into space. How is that even possible? There have been Martian rocks fallen to the Earth. One such was Allen Hill's 84001. In 1996, study of this Martian meteorite shows that there is a high possibility of it containing tiny fossils and other evidence of Mars life, though some other researchers have cast doubt on this finding. Later in 2018, another meteorite was studied, and it was found that carbon-containing building blocks of life and other organic molecules could have formed from a chemical reaction on Mars, although this was not necessarily evidence of life. As a result of these unclear facts, the observation of Mars by spacecraft began in the 1960s. In 1964, Mariner 4 was launched by the United States, followed by Mariner 6 and 7 in 1969. With the help of these robotic spacecraft, the early mission was shown that Mars is a barren world with no sign of life in it. Mariner 9 was also used to observe the planet in 1971, where 80% of the planet was seen and it revealed the big canyons and volcanoes in it. Fast forward to 2008, NASA got a report from the robot that was sent to the northern plains of Mars that among many other substances, there was presence of water ice in a subsurface close by. Another car-sized robot was sent to Mars in 2011, the Curiosity rover, to observe if there was any potential life on Mars in the past. When the robot landed in August 2021, it suggested that the area housed a lake and stream system that was potentially habitable in the past. This robot also saw some complex organic molecules. Different nations have successfully gained access to orbit around Mars. Mars, in some ways, has several similarities to Earth. It has seasons, polar ice caps, weather, canyons, and extinct volcanoes. NASA designed a car-sized rover bot named Perseverance, or nicknamed Percy, and the mission is to explore Mars for newer discoveries. This rover robot has spent more than a year making its way to the Delta to do its primary studies or exploration. 
After landing farther away from the delta than scientists had hoped it would land, it drove around the area called Jezero's floor. One of the surprising things found in this area is igneous rocks formed directly from volcanic activity. Scientists expected the crater floor to contain sedimentary rock. It was April 2022 that Perseverance finally arrived at the delta they had intended it to land, and it was the time scientists found out what they and many researchers have been searching for. Earlier, the rover has collected two pairs of cores from several types of sedimentary rock that make up the edge of the delta. Since July 2022, NASA's Perseverance rover has drilled and collected four slim cores of sedimentary rock formed in what was a lake before on Mars. They are the first of this type of otherworldly rocks to be gathered, which has created excitement for scientists because at least two of the cores probably contain organic compounds. On Earth, organic, which are carbon-containing molecules, are often associated with living things, although they can be formed without the involvement of organisms. To increase the buzzing over the rock samples, Perseverance collected them from an ancient delta in Mars's Jezero crater, where a river once deposited layers of sediments. River deltas on Earth often team up with living organisms. That gives the hope that if ever there was existence of life in Jezero on Mars, these cores are NASA's best chance for them to find it. One of the rock pairs comes from another rock named Skinner Ridge, which is made of fine-grained sandstone like a type of rock seen in many places on Earth. Viewed up close in Perseverance's sampling tubes, the Skinner Ridge cores are studded with round grains of dark material and they appear bright. These darker grains were probably carried by the ancient river that once flowed into Jezero from regions that lie perhaps hundreds of kilometers away. So, the study of those grains might reveal to scientists the history of far distant areas of Mars. The other pair of cores that was recently collected comes from a spot called Wildcat Ridge. The spot lies just 20 meters from Skinner Ridge. These samples have brighter colors and are more homogeneous. They are likely to be a mudstone and are smoother than the Skinner Ridge cores. What does the fine grain show? It shows that the finer the rock grains, the more likely to contain previous life evidence. Looking at how they are on Earth, small grains usually settle out in the bottom of a pond, which are low-energy environments, where they can hold on to decaying organisms or other signs of life that were there before. The place where scientists spotted the organic molecules is called Wildcat. Next to the sites from which Perseverance drilled its two cores, the rover ground a 5 cm wide circle into the rock to expose its interior texture. The rover then stretched out its robotic arm to check the mineralogy of the rock. It turned out to be more rich in organics than any spot studied by Perseverance before now, and the organics seem to be most concentrated in spots that are also rich in sulfate minerals, which can harbor signs of life. This suggests that organics and sulfate minerals that were concentrated as the lake that once filled Jezero was overlapping, Sharma said. With all this progress, can we really be able to live on Mars? Or are we just wasting time and resources for nothing? Join the conversation in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for regular space news. Thanks.